Hey guys and girls, welcome to part two of my Scratch gaming tutorial. So, uh, we're making our tank capture the flag game, and in this tutorial, we're going to be creating our player or sprite. So, come up to the create new sprite button, click, and we're going to give it a name, and we're going to call it SPR underscore player. Um, this is a naming convention, so you'll see that on the background I did bck underscore level 1. Uh, this is sbr underscore player. Keep an eye out for some of the other naming conventions that I use throughout these tutorials. Um, it's always good practice in programming to use naming conventions, uh, whether it's Python, C++, whatever it is you're doing. Um, it makes it really easy to find things and identify things easily. Uh, you may also have seen this in uh, database use, so sort of Microsoft Access. So on and so forth. Um, we're going to click OK. Uh, no, we're not. Sorry, we're going to click Edit Sprite because we want to edit and create the actual character. So we're going to go File, New, 32 by 32 is fine. Click OK. That creates this little grey square. Double click on that, and it takes us to the image editor. We can use the magnify buttons to uh, magnify in or zoom in and. Uh, we're going to use the colors and the shapes to draw our um, character. Okay, so I've uh, very quickly sketched out a little tank image, and this is going to be our sprite. I've done it top down because it is a top down sort of tank game that I want to end up with. Okay, so we're going to click the tick to exit the image editor, and we're going to click the tick to save that sprite. Um, now, what we want to do is we want to sort out the uh, pivot point of this. At the moment, it's it's in the top top corner, left hand corner, and we want it to be in the center. And the easiest way to do that is just hit center, and you can see that the pivot point that's the point at which it turns on. So obviously, the tank we want it to be able to sort of turn 360 um, and not really pivot any other way. So that's fine for that. Um, and we're just going to click OK, and you can see our SPR player is under our Sprite folder. Um, all we need to do is save the project by clicking the Save icon, and I'll see you in part three. <laughs> 